Hey, it's Sean from Crafted Elements, the source for epic molds to make epic things. Here we have one of our 18 by nine inch by one and a half inch tall silicone molds. Uh, we have our silicone molds in a bunch of different sizes and if you're familiar with our company, you probably already know, uh, you can shop at craftedelements.com to see all of our mold sizes, both in silicone and our formed HTP molds. Uh, but what I'm actually talking about today is getting more out of your silicone mold, meaning using your silicone mold to make other sizes of boards, smaller sizes or shapes um, that uh, is, is smaller than the actual mold you've bought to get more use out of uh, these molds, which are certainly not cheap by any means. So I wanna talk about HDP spacers, and I'm also gonna show you a cool trick on making a crucifix or a cross, because I actually had a call from a gentleman today probably the third call in the last month about getting a cross mold. Uh, we don't have a cross mold right now. Uh, we're gonna be making one, but in the meantime, uh, I wanna show you actually how you can make a cool resin and wood cross uh, using our rectangular mold. So the first thing I wanna talk about is HDP spacer. So we, we have an 18 by nine mold, as I said, but let's say uh, you want to make an 18 by six board. You obviously don't wanna just waste that three inches of extra resin. So what you would do in that case is you would use uh, bulk HDPE. So this is yellow, um, black, it doesn't really matter. It's all HDP, which is high, uh, high density polyethylene and resin really doesn't stick to this stuff. So you can actually create spacers. Now HDPE you can get from industrial plastic suppliers, you can get online. There's different plastics companies online. If you do a Google search for HDP blocks, um, they can even cut it to your needs. So for example, this 18 by nine mold, if I added a two inch uh, by one and a half inch thick piece of HDPE and just put it right in there, I now have an 18 by seven mold. So automatically I've, I've saved waste. I can now make an 18 by seven board right in here. Um, let's say you don't have access to inch and a half thick HDPE to match the height of our mold. There's a cheater way to do this and I have done this on purpose. This is two pieces of 0.75 inch or three quarter inch HDPE, which I've siliconed together in the middle and screwed from the top with recessed screws. You can see I left uh, one side, uh, one piece smaller than the other, so you can see that it's actually a double layer piece. So this is two three quarter inch pieces of HDPE sandwiched together, screwed from the top. And then this, I think it's, uh, I don't know if it's six or seven inches, seven inches. So I can now put my seven inch by nine inch piece in there and get my mold down uh, to 11 by nine. So now I've got an 11 by nine space here um, because I've got this spacer. And again, once you put your wood and resin or just resin in there, you're gonna demold the whole thing like usual and then just knock this HDP if it's still attached to your piece right off the, uh, the resin that sits in there. So I wanna take this one section, uh, one step further and like I said at the beginning of the video, uh, making a crucifix with our, um, with our 18 by nine mold. I've already prepared everything. This isn't a video about cutting HDP, which you can cut on a table saw, jigsaw, plane, and you can plane with a plane or sand with a sander. It's really, it's like plastic wood. Um, you can also, and I've also prepared the wood pieces uh, in advance because not a video that needs to teach you how to cut or break wood. So what I've done is I've actually cut four pieces of HDP that's one inch thick. Um, and this is actually a, a one inch thick HDP cutting board that I had here in the warehouse, um, which I just cut into pieces. Now by using those four pieces, as you can see, when I put them in, I end up with a cross a crucifix. There you go, you can probably see that in the video there. And now my wood, which I think is two inches, I've left a two inch gap universally, um, I can just insert in here and I've broken the wood intentionally because I wanted to be able to see the, the natural broken uh, sections of the wood through the resin. And when I tinted my resin, I used just a little bit of pigment so it's still a bit see-through. Um, and that's it. I'm gonna basically pour my resin into here, uh, let it set and effectively create a cross uh, or a crucifix with this rectangular mold just by using the HDP spacer blocks. And again, you can use this simply just to put a big spacer block in there to make a smaller rectangular or square board, or you can cut shapes out of HDP. Like if you wanted a curve, you could cut an HDP uh, sheet with a curve, put that in there and effectively pour uh, you know, a part of a board with a curve. So there's really kind of unlimited uh, options when you combine HDP blocks inside of our silicone mold. Um, so anyway, like, let's get started on this. Um, I'm gonna use my uh, little HDP um, 
spacers or blocks to weigh this down to prevent the wood and these blocks from coming up. Our molds do not have built-in hold downs because they are silicone, so you would either use a block and a weight or you would use uh, clamps from the side if you were using it at the side of a workbench. But this is honestly just as easy and if not easier. So I've got my little HDP blocks and now my um, kettlebells will provide weight and this stuff is not gonna go anywhere. I've already pre-mixed the epoxy because again, this isn't a video about how to mix epoxy or how to make resin. Um, you probably already know how to do that. So I'm just gonna pour it right in between our gap. Let the epoxy fill it out. And it's okay if the epoxy runs over the HDPE because um, the epoxy really doesn't stick to HDPE. Now, to be fair, it might actually stick to this HDP because this uh, was a cutting board and it's got a textured, like a micro beveled surface, which you can't see in the video, but it's like a rough surface on it. So it'll probably stick a little bit, but it's still, it's still not gonna like bond with the HDP is more or less what I'm referring to. All right, that's it. I can now let this resin set and we'll come back in a couple days, uh, take it out of the mold, finish it and we'll have a beautiful wood and resin crucifix. Okay, we're back the next day and our resin has more or less fully set. I'm going to remove the weights and the um, spacer blocks here. And then we'll demold this thing and as, as usual, the piece comes out really easily out of our silicone molds, leaving no residue or remnant epoxy. And here we have a cross embedded into some HDP. And there we go. We can now run this with a planer, router it, sand it, and we'll have a beautiful wood and resin crucifix.